All right, uh, what's good everybody? Welcome back to the channel today. We are going to, if you can see, book off uh, over in Lakewood. Uh, Lakewood is a hit or miss book off for me. Uh, sometimes I found some cool stuff and other times I didn't. So let's hope that it's a hit today and they have some cool stuff. I'll see you guys there. Okay, so they've really expanded their uh, figure section. They used to have like some laptops and stuff in it, but all of it is now anime figures, like every single thing. Uh, up here, they got some Evangelion figures, a small saber. Over here, uh, Rengoku, uh, Bakugo is over there, uh, Todoroki. Uh, I forgot his name, but he's from Demon Slayer. Uh, Milam. Uh, from Slime. Uh, they got Link from Majora's Mask. And some Dragon Ball stuff. Uh, Tanjiro. I'm surprised it's only $90. I thought it'd be more. Uh, Ishtar. Uh, some more Dragon Ball stuff. Uh, they got the Rimuru Android for 100 bucks. Uh, Seito Kaiba. Uh, and from uh, Persona 5. And then over here. Uh, they got some high key stuff. Um, some Love Life figures. Uh, they got a catchy, uh, the Papa Parade. I was gonna get him, but I did cancel the order because he did look kind of goofy. Uh, they got a Two Love Root Darkness figure over there. I don't know if you can see it. An Aqua Figma. Um, over here, uh, a Ram. Azaka, I think that's his name, from Demon Slayer. Uh, Weiharu, uh, Naruto Nendroid, that, that's a huge box, actually. Uh, some Haikyuu Nendroids. And here they have this Homer Amico version for $100. I do love this figure, but I think I could find it at a better price online. So I'll be looking over there. Uh, this is a Black Butler uh, figure. Uh, the packaging looks really cool. Um, I forgot this girl, but she's from Fate Grand Order. Uh, I think it's Mosh. Um, and yeah, some more Love Life stuff is up here. Um, some Dragon Ball stuff. Um, they have, is that Maika from, I think that's from Hi from uh, Hyoka, my fault, not Haikyuu. Uh, Persona 4 figure for $900. $900, kind of insane. Uh, and then some more price figures down there. There's Karen from Monogatari. Um, but yeah, uh, they have an OG down there. Scale for $70. Kind of crazy. Not scale, it's a price figure. What am I saying? Kind of crazy. Uh, Snow Miku down there. Luffy down there. And then an index down here. And then. Looking over at the shelf here. I believe that's another Love Live character. Uh, Demon Slayer, uh, Nezuko over there. Uh, the greatest anime of all time, Rent a Girlfriend figure over there. We're gonna have to cop that. Uh, Dragon Ball stuff, more Love Lives stuff, I think. Um, they have a Kyoko over here, small figure, a dead master from Black Rock Shooter. Uh, they have this coconut figure, uh, shout out to Ken Ken, I did watch his video on it. Pretty cool. Um, and then down here, a Tanjiro figure, um, Kuroko figures from Index are back there in those boxes as well. And then in this shelf here, uh, Milam, again. Um, this over here is a uh, Black Butler figure by Mega House. 
uh, they have the Kyoko. Oh my god, they have the Kyoko. Uh, the Kyoko kimono version back there, if you can see it. I don't know how much it is though. It's probably like 140, 150. Oh, they got a Nagisa right here, but she's like $90, which is kind of crazy. Right there. Um, continuing to look. Uh, zero two Nendoroid over here. A Kirby Nendoroid that looks funny. Uh, Gyu from Demon Slayer. Um, and then an SAO figure over there as well. Uh, but yeah, they really expanded the uh, figure section and I'm really interested in this Sayaka over here, but we'll see if we buy it depending on the price. Oh my god, we're in the manga section, the manga section. Starting at the beginning, 20th Century Boys is always here. Attack on Titan is always here. Akashic Records is never always here, so it's nice to see that because it's an R8 series. Uh, I did not know this was a manga. I thought that this was a light novel. Interesting. Uh, they have Aho Girl. Heard it's not that good. Uh, and the big Berserk volumes over here. They're for 40 bucks instead of 50, which is pretty nice. And then Bakuman is down here with a bleach volume in between them. Uh, and more bleach over here. I got all of the accelerator manga here. My boy looks so ugly in this series. They did him so dirty. Um, looking here, case closed, just takes up three shelves. <laughs> kind of insane. Uh, the Index Manga is over here. I actually use the Index Manga to read volumes 9 and 10 because volumes 9 through 10 were absolutely horrible in the light novel. Uh, and then they also have volumes 19 to 22 here. Um, they have Children of Whales, uh, A Centaur's Life. I always see this here, so I wonder if it's good. So up here they have Vagabond Volume 1 for $12.99. I'm definitely going to pick this up. And then looking further, uh, they have The Worst Harm, uh, a bunch of World Trigger. much on this shelf to be honest. Uh, Yamada Kun and the Seven Witches cute series. Um, Your Lion April Volume 1. Uh, but not really much on this shelf aside from that Vagabond Volume which is pretty nice. Uh, Twin Star Exorcist. I need to finish this. I've been saying this for like the past two years that I need to finish Twin Star Exorcist. Um, but you know what happens. Um, interesting cover. Uh, look in, look in. Tokyo Ghoul Volumes over here, Re and the original series. Um, Ultraman is over here. Uh, UQ holder, uh, which I heard is decent. Some people really like it. Um, looking further, there are a bunch of random gaps in the bookshelf, which is really weird. Uh, so I'm a spider. It's always here. Um, the saga of Tanya the Evil. A bunch of them are over here. I heard the light novel's better than the manga though. That's usually the case when mangas adapt light novels because light novels are better. Uh, Skip Beat is over here. Uh, more Tokyo Ghoul Re volumes. Interesting. 
this shelf doesn't really seem to have much. It has a bunch of this series, but I'm not sure what it's about. Um, they have Reborn as a polar bear. The legend of how I became a forest guardian. No idea what that's about. Uh, they have a giant Rurouni Kenshin volume over here. Uh, have not read the series. Probably won't ever. Um, looking for the Rosario Vampire. It's gonna peak. I'm just kidding. Seraph of the End, Seraph of the Mid. Nisekoi. Jesus Christ. Um, looking further. Uh, there's not really much here. School Live. I mean, I've heard things about this series. I'm not sure if they were good ones. They have a Silent Voice Volume 3 over here. Um, and a bunch of sword art online, peak art online. No Guns No Life is up here. It's always here. Some Overlord volumes. Um, I've got some Orient over here. People in the comments have told me to read this. I don't know, guys. We'll see. <laughs> uh, One Week Friends. I've heard this is kind of sad because, like, she forgets her memory every week and he's just trying to be her friend. Um, they have PhD. I'm gonna get mine soon. Uh, Penguin Drum is down here. <laughs> and then the novel for Penguin Drum is down here. And then Pompo! <laughs> Pompo the cinephile. She knows all about Pompo. Man, Pompo has a very special place in my heart. It's like my favorite six out of 10. Um, looking further. Uh, not much else there. Uh, in this show, um, they have Magia Record Volume 2. We already got this, y'all already know. I wish I had more Madoka stuff though. The dudes on my left are like moaning over something. Don't know. <laughs> it's probably bleach. Uh, Mortal Instruments? I feel like I've heard of this, but I'm not sure. Um, Master Keaton is just taking over the shelf here. Uh, some Ikoku, Tokyo Ghoul, another volume. Nisekoi is here again. Why? I don't know. Uh, Nichijou over here. More Magic Record down here. Wow, this place is really disorganized. Uh, book Off is over here. Or not Book Off. Natsume's Book of Friends. <laughs> Sorry. Over here. One of my favorites. Big fan. Big fan. Um, and that's it for this shelf down here is My Hero Academia. Have not seen it, will never see it. Jojo's is up there. Uh, Kakiguri, peak. We love Kakiguri. It's like rent a girlfriend, honestly. Um, not sure. What series this is? Interesting title. Uh, Kuroko no Basket. I kind of play basketball like them. I'm like as good as them, to be honest. Okay. <laughs> Kuma Kuma Bear is over there. Uh, interesting series. I'm not sure what looks familiar, but I don't know what it is. Log Horizon, one volume. Heard good things about it. Uh, Love and Lies, uh, <laughs> the anime is Cheeks. Um, it has like a 60 mean score. 
on any list, I think. And then, yeah, uh, my hero is down there. And then over here, have the irregular at Magic High School. Um, hot Gimmick. Don't know what title that is. Volume 1 of Haikyuu. Haikyuu. I need to read it, to be honest. I heard it's good. Or watch it. Um, Mid Spectre. Um, and then the Don Machi spinoff is over here. And I'm Standing on a Million Lives is here. It's got like an anime last season, I'm pretty sure. Or two seasons ago. Yeah. Uh, that's it for this manga section. I think there's a light novel section though, so I'm gonna go check it out. Okay, so the light novel section has in another world with my smartphone. This is peak, so I'm gonna leave it up there for people to see. Uh, magical Girl Doctor. Interesting. Uh, I think that's the world's strongest assassin, which got a season last season or two seasons ago. Uh, they have this, which is an absolute steal. So if you're in the Lakewood area, go get this. Uh, it's the first volume of Zaragoto for $9.50. So go get it. I'm going to leave it here. <laughs> uh, Shield Hero all over here, mid. Uh, they have the Tokyo Ghoul novel over here, uh, Ari Ferretta. We always see this at Kino Kunia. Uh, they have the Your Name spinoff over here. Wasn't a big fan of Your Name, to be honest. It was alright. Penguin Drum Volume 2. Uh, Buck Naked in Another World. Uh, Kuma Kuma Bear. Um, the Combatants Will Always Be Dispatched. That got a season 2 recently, I think, as well. Uh, the Devil is a Part-Timer, which will be airing this season at the time I'm recording this. More Tokyo Ghoul novels. Um, and then, yeah, a bunch of Japanese volumes. Oh, and Akira volumes over here, which is cool. But, yeah, I think the manga section was okay. Uh, we did get that steal, though, with that Vagabond volume, so I will be getting that. For sure but i have to check how much that sayaka figure is because i might get that too okay so i was in the cd section looking for the mushishi soundtrack and then my girlfriend was like hey look at these and this is pretty cool uh, madoka homura on the front and back uh, it only has four tracks though unfortunately and like it's 27.99 same for this one i do love this picture of homura it's pretty cool uh, but only four tracks so for 27.99 we will not be copping these, but it's cool to see. Hey yo, it's Mahiru from Review. Okay, so we pretty much searched the whole store. Uh, I'll see you guys in a bit with what I got today. All right, guys, we are back in the car, and we have uh, today's cop. Uh, volume 1 of Vagabond, uh, especially for the price, is really cool. And from the reviews, if this manga is half as good as the reviews, uh, I would say it's worth it. Um, $12.99, it's usually like $20, $21, uh, so yeah, great price, uh, and the art looks really good, so I'm looking forward to eventually reading it, uh, it's not on my super high priority list of reading, but I will get to it eventually, um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for the video, um, thank you for watching again, if you enjoyed, uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, do all that good stuff, uh, and shout out to the book off worker who was in there. Uh, and helped me out and was like give me your channel name I want to check it out so shout out to him if you're watching this uh, cool guy um, but yeah with all that being said thank you for watching and as always y'all have a good one peace